We are different. We. We don't know where we're going. Oh, so, okay. so, so you had like. When you're South Africa, I think it's driving teenagers crazy. It's exciting to be part of, be, be in South Africa now in a time of change, knowing that everything that happens now never happens to your parents. You are free and everything will come your way as long as you work to your dream. Uh, teenagers now, they're not like olden days. We're our own generation. We're what we make of, of us. We're kind of lost and confused. It is difficult because a lot is expected from us. I think we're a generation of a lot of times massive contradictions. Let's go! It's true. It's not a lie. It's not even a rumor. Times have changed. I mean, like, how many of us are driving painted beetles and wearing long flowing dresses and singing songs of love and peace? No one would stop me and say, hey, hey, boy, where's your boss? And I don't have to go around saying, yes, ma'am, no boss. The Russians are no longer the enemy, and even half of Europe has changed name. Technology and the internet make some dude in Outer Mongolia as close as a computer screen. It's just all happening so fast, man. Where on earth do we fit in? The past is gone. I'd say I'm a sort of hip hop person, you know, and Christian. Watch Jewish female. Sometimes I'm known as a punk rocker. Sometimes I'm known as like a total bonehead. I'm a metalhead. I'm a local lover, you know, I like local music. Oh, I think you come back to me. I'm a shy person. Uh, I have self-confidence. I am patient and understanding. I'm still, I'm experimenting about many things. I'm just, well, yeah. No, yeah, I'm just me, you know. Um, we're now being subjected to a much faster way of life. We are out of control. We have to deal with the change of ourselves as well as the change in our surroundings, our, in our country. Now we don't do the things because according to the orders of parents. We do things according to our views. And I just think our generation is... There's a, a lot of more violence than the previous generations. Uh, where I live... Um, Drugs has become more and more available. It is there. It is alive. Anything you wish to do, you are allowed to. Nothing. You must be alternative about everything you do. Let us make the mistakes you want to make. My yeah, it's all there. Change and excitement, openness, and somewhere amidst all of this is us. Wanting to know how to handle it and what's it all about. Like, what role do we play? Where do we belong? And is there any meaning in any of this? Of course you want more to it. Yes, and you don't have to be dazed, dopey and intimidated. This is the decade of exploration, transparency and openness. We are the ones who have to ask questions, fight issues, enter debates. We are the ones who have to boldly go where no one's ever been before. Beam me up, Scotty. Energized. Like surfing the net and cruising through cyberspace. Welcome to net space. In the old days it was medieval ship. Now it's the web. Well, one minute it's heavy metal, Metallica, docks, um, black clothes. Next minute it's rave. Yeah, rave culture. Partying all night, dancing non-stop, making our presence felt. It's as if the generation well, the X generation, as we call it, wants to be totally different from the generations previously. It's where the first world technology meets third world spirituality, and we brave to the gods. But it's not just like, hey, wow, party kind of stuff. We're a generation with lots to say, major issues to debate, questioning customs and traditions like Lobola. Uh, I think Lobola is a good thing for us. For, for for us because it's our tradition. We've got to, to know that 
things are, are changing. If times are changing, culture and tradition, tradition also changes. Well, I think Lobola is a great thing because it's kind of like you are, you, are, you are being allowed to affiliate with the, with the other family. So paying Lobola is actually a good thing and I'm prepared to pay Lobola. I don't think Lobola is good because so, some men when they pay Lobola they say that they, they are buying the woman. So the woman must, must fall under his rules. Things are no longer the way that they were and I think that's a confusing part but it's exciting because it just means that you can, you're not pigeonholed anymore, you're not labelled anymore and it's happened cool to be whatever you want to be. It challenges and it confuses and it kind of throws out predictable situations. It makes knowing somebody more exciting and I think that some people might say it creates more pressure because you have more choices, but I say that it frees you. Yeah, it frees you to be who you want to be, do what you want to do, like who you want to like. It's about not letting society and its norms get in your way. So, boy or girl, man or woman, things like gender shouldn't hold you back. All I want to say is that this is the 90s day of parents and boys can all forget about us staying ho at home, doing the dishes, washing everything, doing everything. You need to learn to be as tough as any man and not to feel obliged to have kids. <laughs> <laughs> well guys got to learn to like wear a skirt you can say because we also have to be sensitive to girls needs. It doesn't mean that a girl has to do that and a boy has to do that. We have to do the all s the same thing. There are girls who are plumbers and they are, uh, uh, what do you call this, boy, boys, men, which are like a cookers. What do you call this, chefs? Chef. Well, I've got a sister, but I wash dishes every night <laughs> and I clean the house. I hate it when they say that, yeah, the men are the stern, stubborn, insensitive snobs, whatever. It's just, it, it, I'm tired of those, like, classifications. <laughs> It's that process of questioning. So women are moving into areas that they never questioned. Guys are also now starting to, to do things that before guys ex thought wasn't okay, wasn't masculine, wasn't macho. So guys now go, go for facials, you know, and, and, and mani manicures and pedicures. And, and It's great because we're not like in little boxes. No one's really making the rules for us. So we're determining the rules as we go along. Um, and that makes the game exciting because you don't know what's, what's, what's around the bend the next time. Yeah, things are happening, so watch out. There's so much, it's all happening, it's happening so fast. The trick is knowing how to handle it. Like when to put on the brakes and say, this is it, this is where I am and I'm not going any further. It's called finding a balance. At the end, you kind of say, stop, you know, I want to get off the bus. I want to have a break. I want to, I want to find out what, what do I want. And I think just kind of know what, it, what you're feeling is okay, but check that out with somebody that you trust. Check that out with somebody that you respect, that you look up to. Tell them what it is, what it is that you want. Voice that. So, find out what's there for you. And remember, it's okay to seek advice and to learn from experience. Don't let everything pass you by. Be active and get involved. It is our time and it is our generation. The way that young people get involved, the way that they, that they kind of have a slice of the cake to say, is just to, to do get involved, to move towards where the action is, where the energy is. And I think that's what young people really want, is where is the most action, where is it happening? And I think there's so much happening in South Africa that it just gives us that natural urge to move towards that. And that, that energy is creative, it's new, it's exciting, it just kind of makes a life out of its own. And I think young people need to ask, where can I get involved, what can I do? Um, this is what, and even offer your own skills, your own talents, you know. There's always something for it, there's always somebody who can use that. The new South Africa is to go out the, to the outside world and like, try to get as much information. There are more opportunities open nowadays. We're the new generation, we're the ones that have to change anything if we want it to be changed. We have to contribute to, to the changes so that it may suit us. We have to like start uniting together. Don't like fight alone. Be there and 
try to understand that we're all teenagers and we're here to live the same life in the same world. So do it, go for it, explore a bit, find out about life. Seize all the opportunities that are coming your way. Learn to stop the good from the bad. What's real from what's rubbish. <laughs> Remember, you're the one who's going to find out what you're after. Because you're the one who's going to learn about who you really are. Just keep asking those questions. Don't let people put you down or stand in your way. Because you are what you need to be the most you can be. Yeah, maximum me.